Hey there Dev Squad, Furtis here and welcome back to my Blender 3D modeling tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be introducing you to edge loops, showing you how you can create them, select them and how you can slide them as well. Now edge loops is something that you're going to be using quite often within your modeling workflow so that you can easily manage and manipulate the topology of your shape. Now, for the purpose of this video, what I've done is I've created this little cube here and I've already put a couple of edge loops in there so you can see exactly what they are. So an edge loop, for those of you that don't know, is essentially the loop of edges that are going around, well, the edge of your shape. So if you take a look on my screen here, I've got an orange line which is going around this cube and this is made up of all the different polygons on here. And I've got a couple of different edge loops that I could select on here. Now if you want to select an edge loop, all you need to do is hold down ALT and then right click. So within here, if I press ALT and right click and, collect and select this edge here, it is going to select all of the edges all the way around the shape to the best of the ability that the software package can do. I can do the same for this one and this is where you're starting to see the difference between one single edge and an edge loop. If I just normal right click you're going to see that it's only going to select a vertex, uh, one vertex or one edge or whatever you've got selected. So we know how to select an edge loop now, let's show you how we can actually create one. So within your editing mode, if you're not already in there, and you do need to be in your editing mode as it is a modeling tool, we can create an edge loop quite simply. So what I'm going to do is hold down Control and R. So hold down Control and R. And while you've still got Control held down, you are going to notice you are going to get this little purple line here. And this is just telling you roughly where you're going to be placing your edge loop. And you can see from the image, it is going to go all around that shape there. And if I wanted to, I could move it in a variety of different ways to try and get the topology that I'm after. For me, for now, I'm just going to put it straight through the middle, just like this. Click once, and what it's going to do is then allow you to have a little bit more control over its placement, so you can manually move it with the cursor left and right. So I can go left and right just like that. So what I can do then is left click to confirm its place, so place it exactly where it is, where the mouse cursor is now. Or if I press right click, that is going to put it in its original position, which is where the purple line showed up. But for now, I'm just going to place it over here, just to the left a little bit, so press left click to confirm and we have now got that there. So what you can also do if you've got an existing edge loop selected, for example, I wanted to select this one here and move it along to the left or right, I can do that. The way I do this is by double tapping G on my keyboard and then it's going to allow you to manually move that left or right just the way that you need to. And once again, all you're doing is left click to confirm or right click to cancel and move it back to its original position. In this case, I'm going to press left click to confirm and move it over there. So hopefully by now you guys are getting a better understanding of how edge loops are used, how they can be used for your modeling workflow and we'll be able to do a little bit more in terms of manipulation. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for this video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.